Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. 2006 Amazon has announced the launch of its cloud provider Amazon Web Services. And when Amazon Web Services was introduced, people said it is end of system administrators. System administrator jobs are going to be obsolete. And it is true. It indeed happened we are in 2024 now and system administrator jobs are almost obsolete i cannot say completely obsolete because there are still some companies who have this system administrator job roles i can probably say 90 percentage of system administrator jobs are gone or obsolete so it took sweet amount of time 2006 to 2024 this is my case study today using this case study i am going to talk about devin i am going to talk about ai and i am also going to talk about other things that you are interested so there are two important points to note here number one is the amount of time that it has taken we are still in the initial phases of gpts llms ai agi just like how the cloud providers have taken a lot of time how the system administrator jobs are obsolete over this period of 20 years similarly ai agi gpts llms are also going to take a lot of time we are nowhere near we are in the very initial phases so this is number 1 number 2 is the most important thing that is employment is gone as system administrators but most importantly equal amount of employment is generated as devops and cloud engineers and the same people who have lost their jobs or who felt that this stream is going to be obsolete they have upskilled themselves they have learned the new skills and currently they are working as devops and cloud engineers or devops and cloud architects solution architects on cloud these are the same people they have transitioned their role they have upskilled themselves and currently working in the organizations the designation has changed previously they were system administrators the skills were different now they are devops and cloud engineers skills are updated but the fundamentals are the same or the root is the same so these are two important points that you have to note one is the time that it takes for any transition it can be the transition that i have just explained it can be the transition in the field of ai in the field of artificial general intelligence or anything new that is going to come it will take a lot of time two employment will be lost i am not at all saying employment will not be lost you will not be writing the simple things that you are writing today right you will not be probably writing a hotel management application or probably you will not be writing a simple e-commerce application you will be writing something else probably you will be writing about how do you build the gpts how do you write the gpts how do you write the llms today you might be a software engineer tomorrow you will be a ai software engineer let's say and when there is an opportunity to write code there will be an opportunity to deliver the code there will be opportunity to ship the code there will be opportunities to test the code right so today the software development life cycle looks in a very simple way where you are developing a e-commerce application and there is a software quality engineer who is verifying something that you have written or writing the automated test cases for it then there is devops engineer who is making sure the software development life cycle is expedited the process goes very fast and application is delivered and released to the customers this is a simple software development life cycle today tomorrow when ai is going to take over or gpts are going to take over llms are going to take over employment will be lost in this space but employment will be generated the same developers today who are writing the hotel management application or the e-commerce application tomorrow they will transition themselves 
they will upskill themselves and probably they will be writing advanced gpts advanced llms or you never know what is going to come in the next 10 years or 15 years right today i have some idea but putting that in words what is going to happen in the future is very difficult you will definitely transition you will be writing better code with the help of ai with the help of gpts with the help of llms or with the help of xyz that is going to come in the future right and when you are writing these gpts or llms even they have to be tested even they have to be verified even they have to be delivered so the software development life cycle will be changed and it will look completely different in the next 10 years 15 years or how much ever time it takes for the entire transition this is the simple truth of universe as i have explained this will be applicable everywhere so if you are let's say a college graduate who is learning python today don't quit learning python just learn python learn the programming skills by the time you complete your graduation by the time probably you enter the organization things might look different as i have explained you might not be writing a simple hotel management application but you will still use python you will still use your programming skills there can be a new programming language but still you will use those skills to develop applications today you can even use python to write your own gpts right so that's how you will be using your programming skills and as i've explained if you are interested in devops keep learning devops keep learning those skills your fundamentals will be very very important you might not be delivering the code you might not be writing the ci cd for uh, simple applications but you will be writing the ci cd you might be called as ml operations engineer you might be called as ai operations engineer anything but you will still be doing the same thing in a much better way just like how system administrators have upskilled themselves and their core thing their fundamentals are still the same but they have upskilled and they are doing much better similarly devops engineers will upskill in the next 5 years in the next 10 years in the next 15 years and they will still be doing the operations thing but in a different space right and if i have to talk very specifically about devin so devin is a ai software engineer claimed as an ai software engineer launched as a ai software engineer by a startup product based organization and to be very honest i will tell you they have done very good marketing they have done very good branding but personally to me it's another gpt or it's another ai assistant that is built on llms that is built on the gpt models right it is nothing more than that probably it can do things much better than the chat gpt it can do things much better than the gpts that we have today but don't be worried trust me this space is going to grow very rapidly if you are worried about devin probably 6 months down the line one year down the line you will see a much better gpt you will see advanced version of devin probably launched by a different startup company so there will be new things that are going to come cloud provider is not only launched by aws aws has pioneered this idea but azure came up microsoft came up with azure google came up with gcp similarly today you have chat gpt you have devin there will be much better products that are going to come there will be much better gpts if you are amazed by what devin can do you will be super amazed by what this advanced tools are going to do right so that's what i want to summarize there will be lot of updates in this space we will all get used to these updates some or other time we will also get transition we will all upskill but do not lose your fundamentals do not stop learning programming today do not learn stop learning devops and cloud today assuming ai is going to take your job you will definitely lose your job if you don't upskill you will definitely lose your job if you don't have fundamentals you will definitely lose your job if you don't learn programming 
if you are a developer it's not because ai is going to take your job it is because you have stopped learning ai will only improve what you are going to do ai will only going to enhance what you are going to do just like i've explained you will not be writing simple restaurant management but you will be writing same python code same java code or any new programming language code doing xyz other things right so this is my video today and specifically if i have to talk about devops engineers because the community that i have is more of devops and cloud engineers personally devops and cloud is going to be a very hot space for the next 5 years for the next 10 years because even you have this gpt is these llms everything is based on the data and devops and cloud is still an emerging space just take a very simple example try using the gpts for cross plane try using gpts for scncf sandboxed project you will get a lot of false positives because these llms gpts don't have enough data out there to give you the right answers right so whenever there is an emerging space it will take lot of time for the ai to read this space even for the gpts to prepare the own answers it will take a lot of time so you are in a very safe seat you are in the hot space where devops and cloud engineers are going to do super good things we are talking about scalable applications we are talking about concurrent millions of users and in each of these things devops and cloud engineers are going to play a very crucial role so don't be worried do whatever you are trying to do today do it in a much better way make use of these applications make use of the youtube channels make use of all the free courses that are available out there and try to upskill thank you so much for watching this video see you all in the next one